Cycling is terrible. Well, that is, of course, if you are out of shape. Nobody ever tells you that when you mosey into the bike shop for your first time to buy a road bike thinking that this is gonna be a really fun endeavor, do they? Look around our stores or online and you know what you're gonna see? Happy, smiling faces on the bike. But here's the secret. While you're taking your kids from soccer practice to their music recital or waking up at 6 a.m. and rushing to the office trying to finish an immovable deadline while your boss is trying to squeeze twice the work out of one person, all of those happy, smiling faces are out training, enjoying the bike, and being fit. Not all of us have time in our lives for 10 hours of training so that when we go and climb up a hill, we get an endorphin rush rather than fall into cardiac arrest. And that is how I want to introduce today's bike, the brand new Cervelo Revita. All right, so thank you for joining us. If you're still with us, you obviously wanna know more about the Revita. And if you want us to make more videos about other bikes, please, by all means, subscribe. It really helps us continue to make videos and content on the channel. If it wasn't apparent at first glance, the Ruvita is actually a road-going e-bike. And this is where I always feel like brands go wrong. For the most part, every brand that puts out a road-going e-bike wants to position it as a bike for the old racer who can't quite hang with the group ride anymore and wants to get back to their glory days of racing. Well, if you have one of those people in your life, you know that that person is too proud to use an e-bike to get back on the group ride. So let's just forget about them. Let's talk about the 95% of people that are best served by a bike like the Cervelo Revita. For me, that 95% of people are people that have normal lives, that have a job or kids or have hobbies that aren't cycling. They're someone that maybe wants to do one ride a week or one ride a month or one ride every six months, but wants that ride to be as fun as it possibly can be. And because like I said in the intro, cycling can be terrible if you're out of shape, the quickest way that you can turn a brand new bike, regardless of how much you wanted it when you bought it, into a dust trap that lives in the garage, is for every time you swing a leg over it, for it to be an absolute bear. Every climb to feel like it's long and dragged out, every headwind to feel impossible. And I think that's what's so great about the E category for road. It makes all of those things fun. All right, so we have framed up who the Ruvita is for, the every person. Now let's talk about the features that make the bike actually work. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the battery and the motor. The motor that is used in the Revita is the Fazua Ride 60, and it probably looks familiar because we've talked about it before. We talked about it with the Heckler SL, and we talked about it with the Santa Cruz Skitch. Both of those two bikes use the exact same drive system and battery. In this application, what you get is a class three system, meaning that it'll go all the way up to 28 miles per hour, very fast. It's capable of delivering up to 60 Newton meters of power around 450 watts. And in layman's terms, that just means it has quite a bit of power. It'll get you up pretty much every single hill with quite a bit of oomph. A very interesting thing about how Cervelo has integrated the battery into the bike is that they have actually turned it 90 degrees. And when you look at the bike from the side, it just kind of looks like an aerodynamic down tube. For the most part, it is hidden inside of the bike very, very cleanly. Like the Skitch and the Heckler SL, this uses a top tube mounted display that allows you to see how much power is left in the battery using LEDs, as well as what mode the bike is actually in. And speaking of controls, you can adjust that easily from the handlebar with a couple of switches, and you can go between three different levels of power assist. The last little feature with the top tube display is the charge port that is in the front end of it. This allows you to either charge something using the main battery, or in case you have a light on the front of the bike, you can actually run power straight from the main power source. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the geometry. And in this case, it is an adjustable geometry, something that Cervelo is really excited about. If I'm thinking about who the rider actually is, I feel like the change between the road and the gravel position actually could be good. If you're rusty because you're not riding every single day, maybe you're getting on the bike once a month, it's nice to have a little bit bigger of a tire and a slacker geometry. The gravel position allows for that when you're riding a bike. If you are a little more seasoned rider and you want a bike that feels a little snappier, you can put it into the road position and then you've got a bike that handles very similarly to the Cervelo Soloist, as an example, a normal road bike. All right, so to give a little bit more comparison, let's talk about a couple of other similar bikes. We've talked about the Santa Cruz Skitch before, that is Santa Cruz's version, effectively, of what the Revita is, a bike that has an e-motor in it meant for gravel riding. Now, the approach that they've taken is quite a bit different. While the bike is similar in terms of its stack height, 
it is actually much longer in its reach. It's about 41 millimeters longer out to the handlebar. The big reason for that is that it is a bike that needs to have a roomy cockpit so that you can run a shorter stem. Someone that is gonna be running off-road, they wanna have a shorter stem to have nice and precise handling, while someone on a road, maybe riding the Revita here, wants a little bit longer of a stem, just helps slow down that handling. The Skitch also has a head tube that is about two degrees slacker than what you're going to see on the Revita. Again, that's great if you're going down steep, chunky off-road trails, but if you're on the road, you want a bike that is going to be more predictable and have some speed to its handling. Talking about wheelbase, the Skitch again here is much, much longer. It's about 65 millimeters longer, and 55 millimeters of that length comes in the front center, so from the bottom bracket to where the handlebar sits. For the most part, I think most people are gonna be on the Revita on the road. And I think in this case, having a tighter geometry that is more similar to a bike like the Cervelo Soloist is going to make this rider feel much, much better and much more at home while they're riding around on roads. All right, so the last thing, let's talk through some of the other small features on the bike. Of course, we talked about it a second ago, there is a road and a gravel version. You can switch between both by using that flip chip. The bike is gonna be compatible with all dropper posts. The bikes that are spec'd uh, actually use one of the nice reverb posts that is electronically controlled. That makes for a really clean installation. Depending on which model you buy, road or gravel, you're either going to get a 30C road tire, so a normal slick style road tire, or a 40C gravel tire, something with a little bit of tread on it. And you can easily flip between both of those regardless of which version you buy to start with. It's also internally routed, which I feel like at this time, everything should be internally routed, but it does use the clever system from the Cervelo Soloist with a stem that allows for the cables to easily run inside of the headset bearing. It's super easy to work on and still allows you to adjust the stack height without adjusting anything with the cables. I guess the last thing, uh, we haven't weighed it, but through the magic of editing, here's the weight. In hand, it honestly, it feels pretty light. You pick it up and it doesn't feel like an e-bike. It doesn't feel like it weighs a ton. And that is the Cervelo Ruvita, a brand new bike meant for e-road. I think, again, if we can just go back to the beginning, this bike has such an enormous possibility to open up riding for so many people. By making that initial fitness barrier of entry effectively go away, you can either get on once a week or once a month and have a good time rather than have to train and train and train in order to get out and enjoy cycling. Check out the Revita online or swing by one of our stores if you've got any questions, by all means. The comments are available, please argue. We love comments about e-bikes and whether you like them or don't. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.